Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jam and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is our final Red Lip Monday for December that Nisha and I are doing. I will, of course, link Nisha's channel below in case you haven't checked her out yet. But for the month of December, we've been doing Red Lip Monday. The first time we did a nice, gentle eye look with a red lip. The second time we did red eye looks with a red lip. The third time we did like festive fun makeups with a red lip. And today we're going to do like full glam eye look with a red lip. Generally speaking, if I do full glam, I always do a red lip. I don't know. I just think the two look so good together. So that's what I'm doing today here and what Nisha's doing on her channel. So I'm very, very excited about this. I even put on like a real shirt so it would look like I was, you know, actually dressed, even though I always am. It doesn't look like that. I put in some earrings. I am wearing my headband for now, but I will take that out after we're all done. But I thought let's like really go for it. Do you like full glam. So I pulled out my Glen Bunny Forget Me Not palette. This has all the mattes I need to do a glam eye look. So I think this is going to work. And then because anytime I think about like really glam, I think about the Tati Beauty palette. Because generally speaking, if I'm doing something glam, it's like big and dark and smoky and glittery. And the, oh, and the black row in this palette just gets me every time. I love it. So that's my plan. Anytime I do a black eye look, I always start with browns. Uh, I don't know if it's because my complexion is lighter or what, but I feel like it just gives a better blend. So I'm going to stop prattling on. I'm going to zoom you in, throw on some shadow shields, and we're going to start building this eye look. I think to start, I'm going to use the shade called Room Service through my transition area, and then I'm going to start deepening it up probably with um, Together, and then I'll dip into the super dark shades. I like to start with the lightest shade when I'm doing look like this because I think it just helps give uh, like a good base for the black eyeshadows. And it helps me be less intimidated. So I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This happens to be uh, BK Beauty 202. And I'm going into room service. Let me fix my mirror. And that's gonna go all through here. I have to use shadow shields because I can't do a winged eyeliner. So I fake it with the shadow shields. So if you want a winged eyeliner look, but can't do wing, try shadow shields or uh, butterscotch tape, which is just scotch tape for those who don't know all the Janisms that I have. Okay, that you can't even really see, but I know it's there and it will make blending the darker shades easier. On the same brush, I'm gonna go into the darker shade called Together and just start putting that kind of the same place, just a little bit lower. And because it's gonna mix with that first shade, it's gonna be slightly lighter along where that first shade went, which will give us a nice blend. I did prime my eyes with the Sigma pencil below my brow in the Milani eyeshadow primer on the rest of my lid and I'm bringing it out pretty far because I want a very dramatic look. Now I'm going to take my Refer 13 Max into the shade here and now, which is a nice dark brown. And again, just slightly lower than that last shade. And I'm going to blend that through as well. 
it feels like a lot to do and to blend, but I think in the end, it makes a huge difference when using black eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna get that blended through this area, make sure everything is nice and smooth, and then we'll probably go right into the black. So now I'm gonna take my regular Refer 13 and dip into the black shade in this palette that says, Say Yes. And that's gonna go out on the outer corner. I'm also gonna drag it out for a bit of a wing. And normally I would keep the black pretty concentrated out here, but we're really gonna make it kind of a bit more today. I don't know if I've used this black for eyeshadow yet. I haven't used this palette a whole lot because it's, you know, a neutral palette. I thought it would be fun to use today because it's neutral and we can use some of the shades on my face for my face products. I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, and go back in again with the fluffy brush and that together shade just to blend over where we put the black so there's no harsh lines, you know, like we do. Now, if you wanted to do something a bit lighter, you could take any of the shimmer shades in this palette or any highlighter shade or light shimmer that you want and use that on the rest of the lid. But I'm not going to do that because I like the black sparklies. So that's what I'm doing. But if that's not your cup of tea, this look is completely adaptable. And bear in mind, I am a 45, almost 46 year old woman who just likes to play with makeup. I don't know what I'm talking about, about anything except how this works on my eye shape, texture, you know, age. If you are 20 and fabulous, <clears throat> you won't have to do any of these things. But if you're my age, these tips might help you a tiny. Okay, so I am going to go into the memory column in the Tati Beauty palette and pick up the black metallic shade on my Sind Beauty E01. And I'm going to wet it. My face isn't done, so you know, fallout's not a problem. I just 99% of the time prefer how eyeshadows look wet. And I think I'm probably going to use some of the glitter as well on top of this. A uh, nifty little trick if you're not aware, if you use glitter eyeshadow before you wash your face at night, use a bit of butterscotch tape or masking tape, some kind of tape, cello tape, to get off some of the glitter specks and then you won't have as much of a mess to clean up. I really, I don't love using glitter for several reasons, but one of them is absolutely the mess and the cleanup. Like, that's a lot. So the butterscotch tape trick helps a lot. Like, it makes all the difference. Now see, I want a full black metallic. I don't know if that's even possible because that looks just like a dark gray. Dumb reboot. At this point, I'm gonna take this tiny Dipina Cosmetics D103 brush. And I'm gonna go into the light shade called Aura in the Tati Beauty palette. You can use any light matte shade you want to. And I'm just blending this along here because I don't want it to get dark and weird in that area. And I know I'm looking a bit frightening at the moment but once my face is done, it should look pretty okay. And I know what you're thinking, holy moly, Jan, your eyes look so tiny now. They do, but once the shadow shields are off and my face is done, it should all come together, fingers crossed. All right, I'm going to spray the Singe brush again, and we're gonna go into the glitters. Wish me luck.
I'm going to press those all over up into my crease and beyond because they will end up there anyway. And per usual, it looks a little cuter if I do it on purpose. Okay, I'm going to finish up the glitters on this eye. I'm going to go off camera and do all of the rest of the bits for my face. I'll come back and we'll do the lips and wrap this video. All right, I'm back and my face is on. I took the black shade under my eyelashes, like up against my waterline, and then I blended it out with the darkest brown from the Forget Me Not palette. And that's how I finished off the eyes. Obviously, black liner and lashes. Nine times out of ten when I'm wearing a red lipstick, I usually line with a dark brown lip liner. It is, I don't know, it just feels a bit more comfortable for me and I like the way it looks with the red. For the lipstick today, I chose out my Give by Gwen Stefani red lipstick. I don't know if this has an actual shade name. I need my reading glasses to read that. So I'm going to line my lips with this J Cat Beauty brown lip liner. I actually bought a whole pack of these off of the Zon and I really like them. They are not expensive at all and they are pretty darn good. So I'm going to line my lips, do the lipstick, and then I'll come back and we'll have a final chat. All right, I'm back and this is the finished look. This is our final video in the Red Lip Monday series we were doing. This is going up on Christmas Day, so hopefully you're having a lovely Christmas or have had a lovely Christmas if you're not watching this on Christmas because, I mean, hopefully you're doing fun things. But if you're not, I'm glad we can hang out because, you know, it's not always sunshine and Christmas trees. Hopefully you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.